Now this Fairbanks is the one that I got this engine completely apart. Um, and if you go back a couple videos, you'll see the, the video that I did of that showing the engine when I got the engine. And it was a uh, decent engine when I got it, but I didn't want to paint the engine, uh, and I'm not going to paint the engine. I'm just going to clean it up, kind of like what you're seeing me do here. Just a little lacquer thinner on the cloth, and uh, just kind of wiping over it, getting off any grease or dust, I mean just anything that's on there, I'm trying to remove it uh, before I start uh, actually messing with the head. Okay. Now the thing about this was, these two valves are the original valves, okay? Um, I was going to keep the original valves in it and not spend the money on it, and I was already taking four heads over there to the machine shop, so loading up one more wasn't going to be, uh, wasn't going to make it or break it, so I was in here looking at this, and I, and I did you know try to get that seat there matching up and the more I tried the more I realized that to use these two valves in this head that is already off the engine engine completely apart I've already deglazed the cylinder we're putting new rings in it to use these would be a disservice to uh, to the next guy it would even be a disservice to me because there is no reason why that procedure and new valves should not be put in this head at that point. If it was already on the engine and it was running, that may be a different story. But um, always lean on the side of replacing your valves and to the point of putting new valve guys in also. Uh, th these valves are trash is what they are. I mean, use them for a show and tell, but uh, they're, they're, they're at no use to me. So what I did was, I went over there and I had some old uh, car parts that I had bought at a swap meet a while back. When I say a while back, we're talking some years. And I got all the valves that I could find, and they were new old stock valves, and I picked out a couple. And these were the two that I picked for this Fairbanks. Really nice valves. Um, the problem is, one, as you see here on the originals, one was smaller than the other. So, what I had to do was, I had to come over there and chop that one there off to make it same size but at the same time what I wasn't realizing was and what the guy over there at the machine shop didn't realize either is that this valve has a little bit of a I don't know a couple hundred thousand bigger and it won't go all the way in the guide you see it stops there um, and if you try to put it in from the other side it it won't it won't make a seat. It has about that much of a lip that uh, that it won't make. But these these valves see the improvement there from the old to the new. It is very uh, it's very evident that that needs to be replaced. I mean there is almost no lip there to get a to get a good seat on. Um, and it's not it's not round around there it's, it's not uh it's just not good